Hello investors, welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be going over my personal growth stock portfolio. So if you guys don't know what um, you know a growth stock portfolio is, basically it is uh, stocks that are anticipated to grow at a rate significantly higher than the rest of the market. Um, this is much different, obviously, than what I have been showing you guys in the previous videos with just my dividend investing. So obviously, if you guys are interested in growth investing and how to beat the market, getting over that average of 7% gain per year, stick around until the end of the video and let's get into it. Now, before we get into the video, guys, uh, we are very, very close to 10,000 subscribers. That is our goal by the end of the year. So if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and press the subscribe button and make sure you turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I make a new video. Also, let's aim for about 50 plus likes on this video. So go ahead and smash that like button. It only takes one second and it helps the channel grow that helps the youtube algorithm and also last but not least uh, leave a comment below what is your favorite growth stock and do you own any of the stocks that i'm going to be showing in this portfolio now let's get into the video and i hope you guys enjoy okay so this right here is me showing you guys the first time my growth portfolio so let's take a quick look and see what's going on with the portfolio before we get into the uh, actual you know stocks that we own in it so if we take a look, the current value of the portfolio is about $21,381.15. Um, we are up about $5,640.68, which is amazing. Now, this right here where it says 91%, that is way off. Um, you know, M1 Finance kind of does this thing where the return right here is not that accurate. There's another section where you can see a more accurate number, not right there, actually. So overall, that's how much we are up. If we look in the past quarter... Uh, we're up about 44, 4300 in the past month. We're up about 1600. In the past week, we're down about 537, and we're, we're going to get into that and the reason why it's down for that week. And then in the past day, it was up about 113 dollars. So this portfolio is doing really amazing, and I love the growth portfolio. So now let's get into it and uh, show you guys one by one what I own and how much uh, you know I've made profit on it. First off, we have Enphase Energy. So Enphase Energy, obviously, uh, right now it's doing really amazing. But if we take a look right there, um, current value is about $4,913. Gain is about $493. So that is amazing. If we take a bigger look right here on the uh, stock right there, it shows you the same information that I just read out loud. Now, this stock has been doing amazing. Um, it was doing even better, but you know the whole solar sector actually made a little pullback in the recent week. Now, the reason these solar stocks are, are booming right now is because uh, pretty much the market is kind of anticipating Joe Biden to win the president presidential race. And that is the reason why a lot of these solar stocks are growing high because he is one that is actually for that. And people believe that he might be the winner. You know, he's winning some of the polls and a lot of people are already trying to price in these gains. And a lot of the, these solar stocks are moving very, very quickly. I've seen them grow, you know, hundreds and hundreds of percents in the recent weeks. So that is something I'm keeping an eye out on and why I have Enphase Energy. Um, we have about 47.45 shares at an average price of $93.60. Uh, currently trading at $103.33. They have a $13 billion market cap, uh, P.E. ratio of 74. But uh, Enphase Energy, definitely, definitely a great stock to own in the portfolio. Um, there's many other ones like uh, we have some ETFs actually for dividend investors. Uh, the ticker symbol is TAN. It's an ETF from you know, a bunch of different um solar stocks that they have energy stocks that they have in it so that's another one to keep an eye out on um, some other ones there's a chinese company called jks was another one i'm looking at there's a sunrun uh, ticker symbol r-u-n there's just many many uh opportunities out there you just have to look for them and find them coming in for the second stock guys we have fedex so if you guys are following this whole you know situation that's going on in the whole world with the rona being out here um fedex ups all these companies are doing really amazing because people are ordering things uh, online and obviously they're getting it delivered to their houses so um, that is the reason i bought fedex now i did get on it mm, a couple months ago but i could have done it a lot earlier but i didn't and i wish i would have because fedex has been doing amazing so our value is about three thousand four hundred and eighty five dollars uh, we are at a gain of about $415.65 currently on this position, but uh, FedEx, I'm doing really, really good. We own about 12.2 shares, average price $249. Um, right now, it's trading at $283. It was almost at about $300 in the past week, but we made a little bit of a pullback. Uh, market cap, $74.5 billion. Uh, the thing with them is they have a little dividend, about 0.92%. 
Now, FedEx destroyed earnings. Actually, about a month ago, they had earnings. Uh, EPS actual was $4.87 per share, beating it by about $2.15. Uh, revenue was 19.32 billion beating revenue by 1.76 billion so they almost beat by 2 billion just in revenue the stock shot up obviously now we're going to be following what happens with ups in the following week and see how fedex and ups are going to be pushed up or down depending on the news speaking of ups you guessed it ups is the number three stock on our list right here so we have ups coming in at number three uh, currently, it's uh, valued about $2,295.69. We're up about $126.69 on the position. Now, UPS is not moving as good as FedEx, and that is why we are a lot more up on FedEx compared to UPS, even though we're almost invested about the same amount. Uh, FedEx is moving a lot faster, but also UPS has earnings coming up in the following week, so we're going to see what happens with that. Currently, we own 13.3 shares of UPS. But I do also own UPS in my dividend portfolio since their dividend is 2.29%. So we actually have about $1,000 more worth of UPS in the other portfolio as well. So we have to you know, add that as well. Uh, average price, $162.41. Right now it's trading at $171.90. Uh, we're going to see what, you know, what the revenue is, what, you know, the, if they beat earnings, I'm assuming they're going to beat earnings. If they don't beat earnings, that's going to be a huge surprise for me. Um, so we'll see if the stock continues to trend up, up to their earnings and what happens after earnings. Is the stock going to continue to go up? Is it going to go down? Because we've seen that situation with stocks like Tesla in the previous week. It was up about $20 after earnings, but then after the market opened, the stock started to tank. And that's something that we have to keep an eye out on and just see what goes on with uh, the earnings that happen. Now we're going to be getting into the juicy ones. So coming up after that, we have one that everybody knows, ticker symbol AMZN, Amazon, obviously. Uh, so this one I did not actually have in the portfolio. Um, I had a little bit of it and I've been adding to the position, but the price has just been so high that I'm actually not even that much up on the whole position. Uh, currently, we have about $2,062 worth and we're only up $35.14 on the position. As you can see, I've owned this stock since about September, but um. You know, I only owned about $500 worth at one point, and then I bought more and bought more and bought more, but the price that I've been buying at has just been so high. But obviously, just like with FedEx and UPS, Amazon is another stock that is definitely benefiting for the whole from the whole Rona situation, obviously, as people are ordering things online. Uh, Amazon is benefiting from this. eBay is uh, benefiting from this. Many other online companies are benefiting from this as well, and Amazon is definitely one of them. So I'm expecting Amazon to have some decent earnings at least this quarter, but also the next quarter um, after Christmas and all that as well. I think that they're going to have some amazing uh, you know, earnings after Christmas because people are going to be ordering even more that they can be going out in public. So this one, we own not even one share. We own 0.64 shares, average price $3,149. The price is currently at $3,204. It was trading at around uh, 3.5 thousand actually in the previous weeks, but it's made a nice pullback of about $300. So right now is actually a good opportunity for me to start buying, especially if it goes under my average price, I might add more to the portfolio. Uh, their market cap is about 1.6 trillion right now. Uh, there's no dividend, obviously, for Amazon, but Amazon, just a beautiful company to own for the long term. They have many, many great things coming up in the future, so this one is definitely one I'm going to continue to add. Next up, we have the FB, Facebook. So big company, big uh, big things coming with this one, obviously. Uh, Facebook, currently, we have about $2,012 worth. Uh, we're up about $212. Good. The stock has been doing well, uh, especially with Snapchat earnings, actually. Snapchat had some amazing earnings uh, this previous week. Um, the EPS actual was uh, 0.1 cent. They were estimated to be in the negative. They beat by 0.6 cents. Revenue was 678.67 million, beat by 124.69 million. The stock is up huge in the past week. That roars 28% higher to record 50 billion valuation, bringing uh, Twitter and Facebook along for the ride. Now, actually, Snapchat continued to rise. Uh, Snapchat is actually up a lot. It was up 10% on Friday. The day before that, it was up. So in the past month, it's up about 70%. But you can see here, it was trading at around $28 per share. Currently trading at $43, $44 per share. So Snapchat is doing amazing. Uh, it, it brought Twitter and Facebook up, as well as uh, Pinterest. I don't know why they don't have Pinterest in here. But the thing we're going to have to look at is obviously Facebook has earnings coming up in the next week. So we're going to have to watch what Facebook does because if Facebook has good earnings, it could continue to bring these uh, social media apps up. So Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and even Pinterest 
all of these for um very very you know closely looking at these stocks to add to the portfolio or play some you know swing trades or even options trading with these ones because if uh, one of them does good it pushes all of them up together and facebook actually jumped about ten dollars in the past week so with facebook i own about seven shares 254 dollar average price currently at 284 dollars and 79 cents market cap 811 billion i'm predicting this one to um hit a 1 trillion market cap in 2021 so that's what we're going to be looking forward to oh boy here we go here we go now we're starting to get into the list so if you're a fan of financial education shout out to jeremy tesla my esla that's what he calls it so here we go with esla esla currently we're actually up a lot so the numbers right there might look really really weird to you but that is because i used to own a lot of tesla i used to own about eleven thousand or thirteen thousand dollars worth of tesla um, so we made some huge gains because we bought it at a really, really cheap price. I think uh, it was around $1,000 per share, and then it went up to about $2,500 per share, but then we sold it around 2000 and something. But currently we own $1,871 worth of Tesla. Now the gains, obviously, were up about $4,291.80 on Tesla because of that. We owned a lot of Tesla in the portfolio. It was pretty much just Tesla in my growth stock portfolio in the beginning and obviously you know that jumped up a lot so we made a lot of huge gains on tesla tesla did amazing for us currently if we look we have 4.4 shares because of the split uh average share price 408 dollars currently it's at 420 dollars and 63 cents uh the stock has been bouncing up and down even with amazing earnings and all these like shanghai um you know they have a shanghai plant they have one in germany uh they have so many things one in texas is coming for the cyber trucks they just have so much stuff going on. They're going to be doing amazing. They're going to be trying to get over that, um, you know, 1 million vehicles in a year. So 2021 is going to be a huge year for Tesla again. Uh, this is a definite long-term hold, and I might buy some more if it drops under 400 per share and try to make some massive gains like I did in the past with it. Next up, we have the Chinese Tesla. That's what it's known as. It's going to be uh, NEO. So NEO is, people say it's the Chinese Tesla because they're, uh, very very similar in what they're going to be doing so currently with neo we own $1,633 per share or uh, $1,633 worth and we're up about $17.17 so this one is very very new so I've only had this one in the portfolios for about a week or two um, it was doing good it's making a little pullback right now but that's okay uh, we have about 60 shares at an average share price of $26.87 Currently at $27.16. The market cap on NEO is very low, $29 billion. So if it goes to be as big as Tesla, this stock can 10x. Technically, if you look at the price, it could be trading at $270 per share. So that's obviously what I'm shooting for, but we never know. That's what I'm shooting for in the next you know, five or 10 years. But we'll see what happens with that one. I'm going to continue to buy more if it dips, obviously. But uh, the reason why NEO has been doing really good is because... Uh, JP Morgan obviously gave it a price target of about $40 from its previous $14 price target. So the stock jumped. Um, this was like a week or two ago. The stock jumped about uh, 26% at $26.60. Uh, the stock has gained 5.9% to $28.07 on Thursday for a 2% uh, or a two day percent gain of about 30%. That's why we own NEO in the portfolio because we believe that it can do th good things in the future. All right, next up we have one. Wow, this one's actually in the red. Wow, that's a change, huh? So it's gonna be Apple. Apple, we own about $1,112 worth. We're down about $12.72 on this position. So in my opinion, Apple stock is very, very boring right now. It's not moving much, but uh, it's a huge company. And you know we have these uh, iPhone enthusiasts that are definitely glued to iphone and they're always going to continue to buy whatever new iphone comes out um, and, and that means that apple is going to continue to make money off their watches off their cell phones and many other products that they have um, you know you know they have laptops you can buy whatever you want to do but we have 9.6 shares average price of 117 dollars 49 cents currently at 115 dollars it is at two trillion market cap that is huge one of the only ones that you know is at two trillion um, you, let's see who's going to hit it next. Uh, it has a small dividend of 0.68 cents, but Apple, nothing too big with this one. This is just a stock that I believe in for the long run. Next up, we have Adobe. We are green on this position. So Adobe, we have $613 worth, up about $25.47. So with Adobe, obviously it's a no-brainer. The economy, everything going on right now, everything was shut down by the Rona. 
people are going to be using laptops and things like that and you know a lot more than they did before they're going to need some type of you know software on their computers and they're going to definitely download adobe or just you know things like that other companies that they could get is uh you know also they're going to be benefiting from this so obviously we have about 1.2 shares uh, average share 479 dollars currently it's at 488 market cap 234 billion um, that, it's a no-brainer like i said this company is just in the portfolio right now until we see what happens in the future and how the rona is going to affect earnings next up we have qqq so qqq we're up on it and this is a uh, it's basically saying that um the nasdaq is going to go up or that all the tech stocks are going to go up so as long as tech stocks are going up and nasdaq is going up qqq tends to go up as well so with this one we own 590 dollars worth and currently up about 25 dollars and 67 cents uh, so this one we own 2.07 shares 279 dollars average share price currently at 284 um, its uh, dividend is about 0.57 percent so this is just an etf pretty much that follows what happens with the tech stocks follows what happens with the nasdaq so as long as the nasdaq continues to go up i'm going to be okay with this one and obviously the nasdaq with all the tech stocks, it's so bloated that it just keeps going and going until the bubble pops one day. And then, you know, we're definitely gonna have to sell out of this one, but that's why I own this one. Okay, next up we have NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, obviously huge chip maker. We have uh, two huge chip makers right now, NVIDIA and AMD, they're doing really, really well. As you guys saw, uh, Intel just did horrible on earnings. They tanked down. So Intel is one that I'm keeping as far away from my portfolio. I don't even look at Intel for anything. Uh, NVIDIA and AMD right now are the top competitors. They're, they're their best ones right now. AMD has some huge things coming up, huge news coming up. They have earnings coming up. Obviously, NVIDIA and AMD push each other as well. So we own about 0.7 shares of NVIDIA, $511 average share price, currently at $543, market cap 335 dividend is pretty much zero they don't even have a dividend so nvidia obviously a stock for the future that i'm holding because i see it going up even more and more as long as uh other chip makers as well get pushed after that we have alibaba so ticker symbol baba obviously so you guys know this one this is the chinese amazon that's what we call it. we have a chinese tesla we have a chinese amazon what's next the chinese apple so obviously alibaba this is one that i really really plan on continuing to add to the portfolio because i believe that this one is undervalued so i think that alibaba is definitely undervalued and it could be a lot higher um, i don't think that people are understanding how good of a stock this is and i'm going to continue to add to this portfolio and continue to add you know more of this one um, i think i'm going to at least have about two thousand dollars worth if not five thousand dollars worth or more in the next year or so if in alibaba because i think that this stock is definitely going to blow up in the near future um, they're doing amazing things, and I, I think they're just super undervalued. We own $386 worth. We're up about $36 on it. Uh, we own 1.2 shares, current um, or average share price $280. Currently, it's at $309. Uh, market cap $838.5 billion, so almost a $1 trillion market cap. So you can see this company is a serious company. And um, I, I think in the next five or 10 years, this stock could be a $500 or $600, or $600 stock. So that's why I'm saying this stock has, a, a, you know, it can go up a lot so i'm definitely going to be adding this one more and more to the portfolio as i think it's a great stock great company and has great things to come so guys i hope you guys enjoyed the growth portfolio leave a comment below do you own any of these stocks in your portfolio um obviously most of these i'm going to be holding for a, a while at least until things uh seem to be going down or something but uh right now big plays like we said is neo obviously a huge play and phase energy with the solar stocks depending on how the presidential race goes obviously uh that's gonna you know, obviously affect it as well and we also have earnings coming up with that one but i'm gonna be looking at all of these how the coronavirus affects it how the election affects it you know china trade war you might not be keeping an eye on that and that because now it's uh, been you know pushed away by the coronavirus but that is still a thing that we're going to be keeping an eye out on like we did about a year ago so there's just many factors to look at obviously um you know the portfolio is doing amazing we're up about five point six thousand dollars on the portfolio so Leave a comment below. Do you own any of these stocks? What do you think of the portfolio? Any stocks that you think I should add for long term or sell? And yeah, just make sure you smash that like button. Let's try to get over 50 plus likes on this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out my other content if you're interested. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.